So this is a quick video about how you unfold and refold a Monoprix shopping bag. These are really popular shopping bags that Monoprix sells, usually at the entrance and exit to their stores. They come in a bunch of limited edition colors and uh, they're really handy and some people collect them, so on and so forth, but they're very confusing as to how to refold them and they don't come with any instructions. So we'll run through that now. Here's the bag totally unfolded. We'll start the folding by folding the ends into the middle. The bag sort of has a face and a back. You want to fold the ends inside so that they sort of tuck in. This can, doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll help with the next steps and it'll keep the bag, the width of the bag on the narrow side. Now you want to fold the ends over so that they fold and they line up with the pocket in the middle. You'll see that the pocket is out already. So fold it over in thirds as if you were folding a letter. And now you're gonna fold the handles back. You'll see the pocket is extended, the handles are down. Now you're gonna fold it in thirds, once again, up and then up again. Now is kind of the most confusing part, which you have to get that pouch into, sorry, get that folded area into the pouch. I had the pouch inside out, so I flipped it, and now you wrap the pouch around the folded up bag. Now that everything's inside the pouch, it's just a matter of sort of flattening it out. You're never gonna get it as flat as Monoprix does from the factory, but you can get it really in a pretty neat little bundle. Now in the next part of the video, we'll do the whole process again, just to see a second take on it. You're not always gonna be folding it exactly the same from time to time, but if you follow this general pattern, it will work out and you'll get in that pouch every time. And this isn't the factory fold. This is exactly following how I had it. Okay, so it's unfolded and when it's fully open, we're gonna take that pouch piece out and put the handles all the way extended. That'll be a good starting point with it flat on the floor like this. Here I'm folding the ends over as opposed to tucking them in. This method will be fine as well. Just make sure they line up with the farthest part of the handle. Now I'm tucking them in. Again, you could do it either way. I like to do it tucked in. It seems to have a more predictable end result. It does definitely take a little bit longer. Now we're going to fold the bag in those thirds and we're gonna line everything up with the outer edge of the handles. Make sure the pouch is out. You don't wanna fold that in. Now we're gonna fold it, oh, we'll clean it up a little bit. After that, we'll fold it up into thirds. That time we'll go over and over. It's nice and clean. And here's the over fold and then another over fold. We'll tuck the handles in the back so they are secure and in a nice clean spot. Now is that pouch, make sure the pouch is what appears to be inside out because the printing needs to be on the outside of that pouch when everything is tucked in. Now get the folded up bag and wrap the pouch around it. Again, this is the most confusing part of the entire process by a pretty wide margin. So give yourself a little patience here and you'll figure it out eventually. Just make sure you remember that it needs to be outside. The outside needs to be the printed material so that it looks like this. As long as you keep that in mind, you'll always be going in the right direction. Now at the end, you wanna just sort of flatten it and make it a little bit neat. That way, if you're putting it in a backpack or something like that, it's not kind of a ball, it's nice and flat. Thanks for watching.